So today, <laughs> today we are trying the RC Jalapeno Flavored Vodka. Now they are out of Clifton, Texas. This is 40% alcohol by volume. And it is the Red Caboose Distillery. Mm, Red Caboose, huh? Red Caboose. <laughs> out of Clifton, Texas. That's so, a really fruity shirt you got on. Isn't it? Yeah. My wife got for me. <laughs> and, she likes to dress you up funny. <laughs> and, and as a bonus today, we are going to try the Alamo Red Jalapeno Bloody Mary Mix. And they are out of, oh, where are they out of? Um, I said it earlier. I forgot. Oh, out of Houston. Houston, Texas. <laughs> Ooh, a twofer. I have a feeling this is going to be very spicy because I know that it's you also jalapeno have a bowl flavored. Of jalapeno over there. It's jalapeno flavored. Mm. So I don't know what that means. Jalapeno flavored. But we're going to try the vodka first. And then I got some goodies to go in the glasses. Now, if it's like that bacon flavor, that bacon was kind of weird. I thought you said it tasted like bacon. It did, in a, in a way. It's, you know, I can't the remember. Dog food version of bacon. <laughs> but I've never had that. Whatever. Now, this doesn't really smell like jalapeno. It's got a weird... It's got a weird smell to it. So smell, I mean, you know how jalapeno smells. Yeah. Does it smell like alcohol? It smells like a rubbing version, a rubbing alcohol version of a jalapeno, I guess. Oh, so almost like it was a jalapeno flavored vodka? Probably. Mm. Okay, it's not like hot, oh. but you get like through your nostrils a hint of like a weird jalapeno. It's okay. Now, see, I was waiting for that jalapeno and it didn't really bring it. I don't think that it would bring it like that. I mean, because it's not... Even though... It's just like a weird flavor. It's kind of like the bacon... I don't even know where it's at. The bacon vodka, it had that hint of bacon. This has got like a, a hint of jalapeno with the weird smell. Well, that's what it's going to have, though. It's going to have a hint of the flavor. It's not going to be... Because it's still vodka. Yeah, I know. But I was, I was expecting like... Jalapeno flavor. I think you just in a complaining mood today. Okay, so this is gonna be a mixer. It's it's all right, but I was expecting more. I was expecting like jalapeno flavor. Do people drink straight vodka? Is yes. that a thing? Yeah, alcoholics. They do it all the time. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna do the Alamo Red Jalapeno Bloody Mary mix. Yeah, but I don't think an alcoholic is going to be like, let me get this jalapeno one. I think they're like, oh, look at that. <laughs> There's rubbing alcohol for sale on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Let's buy that instead. It's cheap. There we go. Now, the jalapeno uh, vodka from uh, Red Caboose that came in at twenty one ninety eight at Specs. So, eh, pretty decent. So, it's not super expensive. It's not super expensive. Um, it does have hints of jalapeno. It's just got a weird flavor to it. Now, I don't know if they infused it before they distilled it, maybe? But I've had jalapeno flavored stuff before. So, it's, it's, not, it's not as jalapeno flavored as the other stuff that you've had before? No, it's just like a hint, like when you're breathing through it. Okay, 
Now, this is what I've been waiting for. Now it's one part to three parts. So if I do one of these in each one, yeah, it, if it would smell like jalapeno and taste like jalapeno, this, this would be banging. But it's got that fake kind of smell. And then do three of these. It's almost got the consistency of like a barbecue sauce. But, I mean, it's from Texas, so it can be like that. All right, so we're gonna try this out. Now this doesn't have any alcohol whatsoever in it. It's doesn't just a Bloody Mary mix. An ice cube, or no? Huh, I got an ice cube. I'm rocking it, hang on. I was gonna stir it up a little bit. Give it all I can give it. I won't even taste it right now. I'll wait. Ice cube. Ice cube. <laughs> so we'll just keep those there. Now, I'm going to be fancy. Oh, you got your spear, your sword. Did you take all the peppers off the garden? No, these aren't from the garden. Okay. These are out of a jar. Oh, uh, okay. I'm Wait, just... are those my pot roast peppers? No. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Now those are jalapeno stuffed olives. Mmm. Now what do you think, baby? Does that look proper? I think my pepperoncinis look better on top of the poppers. <laughs> Here, Justin, try this. All right. Ooh. That's spicy. That got a whole lot going on it. So the Bloody Mary mix good. is pretty spicy? It's tasty. Yeah, it tastes good. Smells good too. Ooh. Uh, it's been years and you're still chugging stuff like you're just turned 21 yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Every day. Mm. So it was good. Great. All right. So the the Rekka Boost Distillery, it's all right. Um. It needs more jalapeno flavor and smell. It just has a weird thing going on. Now, the Alamo Red, badass. So they're really good together. Yeah. Oh, it's a good spicy drink. I think oh. with the olives and the banana pepper, it turns out really great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I definitely recommend this stuff. Um, it's really spicy. You can taste this Tabasco. You can taste all that stuff in it. Mm. Wait a minute. You're not going to eat the banana pepper? I saw you put it back in the bowl. I just ate it. No, you didn't. You ate. I saw you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything else? I'm sure I'll think of something later to bitch you about. <laughs> yeah, that's badass. So this is definitely a mixer. Um, it mixes well to make Bloody Marys. Ooh, that was hot. <laughs> so that's what we got for today. Like, share, and subscribe. Check them out.
Um, I'm really impressed with the Bloody Mary sauce. Where did you mix. get the Bloody Mary mix at? That was at Specs. Oh, was it at Specs? Okay. Yes. Whew. I just good. know that sometimes we get mixes from H E B. So now they might sell this at H E B too. I haven't I don't ever know. seen it. That's why I was asking. But I, I got that one at Specs. Oh, this is good though. And we will be back <laughs> Friday, um, with uh, what we're gonna make. Well, I pina coladas. Yeah, you were supposed to make pina coladas today. Actually, we you were supposed to, to do it on my birthday, and we ran into stuff and then it was raining it's been raining all right anyways that's what we got for today like share subscribe we'll be back next friday hopefully with some pina coladas yes D like dull whipped pina coladas with like banana okay and like oh it's gonna be amazing all right <laughs> we're out of here all right thanks for watching everybody have a great weekend cheers